This video uses an example involving four rugby players to explain a developmental network. Before 2016, Ireland's rugby team had never beaten the All Blacks, the New Zealand rugby team, although they had come close. The historic match occurred in Chicago, where the score was 33-29 to to Ireland, with five minutes to go. One more try from Ireland would secure their first win over the Kiwis. As you can guess, another try was scored by Ireland, however, it wasn't without a fight. These are the players involved. Three were from the Irish team, Connor Murray, Jamie Heaslip and Robbie Henshaw, with the All Black being Jerome Kino. Not to get too technical, but in the perfect scenario, Connor Murray retrieves the ball from the bottom of the scrum. He then goes to pass the ball to Jamie Heaslip. Heaslip runs up the pitch with the ball towards the try line, and as he gets closer, he encounters Jerome Kino. At this point, Kino is blocking Robbie Henshaw from getting the ball. He slipped, therefore hands off Kino and passes the ball on to Henshaw to score the try. In simpler terms, when representing genes, Murray passes the ball to he slip, the ball being gene product, and he slip inhibits Kino from inhibiting Henshaw, and thus Henshaw is able to score. Using this network, both singular and double mutant outcomes will be evaluated. In the first example, Jamie Heaslip is not present. As he blocks Kino from inhibiting Henshaw from scoring, when he's not present, Kino is still able to inhibit Henshaw and thus no try is scored. In the second singular mutant example, Jerome Kino is lacking. As he inhibits Robbie Henshaw, when he is not present, Robbie Henshaw can go on to score the try easily. Now moving on to double mutants involving two of the four players. In the first example, both Connor Murray and Robbie Henshaw are not present. Although the ball would never leave the scrum due to Murray's absence, as this involves a more downstream player, the outcome is dependent on this most downstream player, this being Henshaw. As Henshaw is not present to score the try, no try will be scored. Finally, in the last mutant example, another double mutant, both Jamie Heaslip and Jerome Kino are lacking. Again, although Jamie Heaslip is not present to inhibit Kino, Kino, the more downstream player, is also not present to inhibit Henshaw. As this inhibition does not occur, Henshaw is able to receive the ball and go on to score the try. If curiosity sparks, Henshaw did in fact go on to score the try and Ireland achieved their historic win over New Zealand.